So I've been thwarted. Um, I, I thought I would sneak up this little ravine and grab a peek. That's right over here. Um, it's just, it's not worth the risk. I don't want to scramble up all this shit by myself. Um, who knows what could happen? It's better to just be safe. Getting a weird feeling about it, so I'm just going to call it here. But still pretty remote. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm well off the uh, the main trail here and got this beautiful backdrop. This is Mount Baldy. That's the tallest peak in Los Angeles County. It's uh, just over 10,000 feet, 10,000 and some change. And um, got some snow up there. So yeah, I figured this would be a cool spot to just do a quick video. Um, and especially, you know, given the fact that this kind of has a uh, Red Dead Redemption vibe going on, um, I wanted to review a record that I've been listening to a lot this year that has a Western vibe. And that is Vital Spirits, Still as the Night, Cold as the Wind. So, Idle Spirit is actually a Canadian black metal duo, I believe. Almost positive they're a duo. Um, they are the dudes in Warm Witch, which is a sort of punkier, I guess, a bit less traditional black metal project. Um, definitely has like, has like a punk and hardcore vibe sprinkled in. This project is way more traditional black metal, but it has a Western flavor to it. Um, they're from Vancouver, so, you know, they're from the Western half of North, Amer North America. Just given, you know, the general scene identity, you know, you have the scene in the Pacific Northwest, um, you've got some killer black metal bands right here in California, um, and then you have, you know, the Denver scene, which is, of course, just churning out amazing projects uh, most recently, or most relevantly, Wayfarer, which um, kind of has a similar vibe to this record, although I like Vital Spirit a bit more. So yeah, all that said, I, I consider Wayfarer to be an American black metal band because, you know, they are from North America and they are directly tapping into like uh, indigenous history for this record, which I also find fascinating. You know, it, it's really, the, the lyrics are very intricately crafted. They're sort of these short declarative sentences, but within that you get these really just like powerful images and you can tell he just put a lot of thought into writing these um writing these lyrics and i really appreciate that so uh, i mean this record wastes no time um from the very first track you're just thrown into this blistering black metal riff um it's really catchy the vocals are, are actually not quite what i would expect for a record like this i love the vocals i think they're they're perfect but like going into it you know if you hear a western black metal I, I guess you would expect sort of like a gruff like very present vocals um and that's not really what you get. You get very, very high-pitched, shrieked vocals that are almost, like, wraith-like. You know, you almost have, like, a raw black metal vibe to them. They're just drenched. They're, they're dripping in reverb. Like, yeah, to the point where you almost can't tell what he's saying. Um, which is fine. You know, it's extreme metal, so it doesn't really matter. But, like, if you want to sit down and read the lyrics, um, you can make sense of them. But, like, just going in blind, you're not going to have any idea what this guy's saying because the vocals are just that, like, processed. But not in a bad way because I love, you know, I love throwing reverb on vocals and... I think it, it produces a great effect and it works for this record. You know, it almost sounds like the ghosts of, of Native Americans coming back to to uh, wreak their vengeance on the settlers. So yeah, I mean, um, you have a lot of uh, fast paced parts on this record, but you also have these, these little interlude sections sprinkled throughout, which I find very um, compelling because they really tap into that like Western flavor. Um, you have, I think track five or six is like an entirely instrumental track. And it's just this sort of like, you know, you, you can almost just picture yourself like riding a horse through uh, landscape like this you know it's just got a very very um evocative vibe to it and that's something I, I i almost you know i want to keep coming back to on this record is because it just paints this picture like from the cover art to the lyrics to just the the instrumentation they use they are really crafting an entire package for the listener and i really appreciate when bands go out of their way to do that you know part of the appeal of black metal is the escapism and while the subject matter that they're dealing with is not necessarily uh something that you want to like you know kick back and like enjoy you know it's not good stuff that they're singing about but you know it's compelling and it needs to be talked about clearly i'm not sure if the two members of this band are themselves indigenous or if they're just using it as you know inspiration but um regardless i think they do it justice they really do you can tell they engage in good faith it's not uh, you know they're not glorifying warfare um you definitely get the feeling that they're really just trying to engage with it honestly like almost how a historian would but you know obviously they bring you know artistry into it and, it and they are lyrics you know it's not just like a wall of text like like that abyssal record where the dude was just writing his like you know master's thesis in lyric form so yeah i think i'll call it there um i gotta <laughs> scramble all the way back down here so uh if you guys have heard this one let me know what you think um appreciate you guys watching like subscribe all that stuff and i will see you in the next one